the deep talk with mr henry the very first time i listened to her voice we were at a show on galaxy fm uh called the galaxy explosion she sang and that's how she got my attention 2020 three years down the road she has seven songs and uh She's knocking on the door of the industry. The reason she's here is because she has a story to tell. I'm with Laika Music. Welcome to the Deep Talk. My name is Mr. Henry. I want to humbly welcome you and also ask you to subscribe to the button, on the to hit the subscribe button so that every time we post, you'll be a part of this. Laika. From 2020 when I first saw you to 2023, we are in October now. You have not changed a bit. Are you sure? The face is still pretty, <laughs> extremely pretty the way it was. The body is still the same. It's just that you now have more music. Yeah. How's the journey been from 2020 to 2023? It's been good. It's been a bit of ups and downs in mm, between. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but we thank God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is a beautiful girl like you doing in the music industry? Which uh, wind blew on, on your conscience <laughs> to bring you into the music industry? I love music. I always mm -hmm. loved music. I always sang music. I took so long. Mm. I would like to s I'm not going to say my age, but I would like to think I'm I started music older than Give I Give me the age. <laughs> tell me the uh, age. Mr. Nino today. I'll tell you. Yeah, if I said I that you are but, but I know you're young. Uh, I'm young, but I'm not so young. I, I started music late. Okay. And it took me a while to decide if I wanted to do music uh, okay. professionally. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but for me, I always loved music. Okay. Yeah, and I, I just, I just decided. Okay, I thought all that energy I was giving mm. other employers. Why hey. can't I give it to myself? You know. So. They first used you. You first worked for people. Yeah, I worked. Now so. let's 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 back up a bit. That's that's the story I'm looking for before this Laika comes onto the music scene. Who were you? Amanya Gama Tufu and when you say they used you Wario Kola Bichi Wario Kolawa. my real name's Laika Umohoza. Umohoza? Yes. Or you Munya Gwanda. My or father. My oh father's lin line. Lineage. Yes. Banya but Gwanda. we are all we are Ugandans. Okay. <laughs> yes. And then your mother? My mother is from the West. Munyankori. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Umuhoza Laika. So Laika is actually your real name. Yes. Give me the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I, w I studied, I went to school, I graduated in accounting. No, so we, you're lying. Yes, I'm not lying. Accounting? Yeah. And music? Yeah, but... Accountants get money. Uh, uh. Music, you're investing in money. Accountants don't get money. But how long? For how long are you going to get that salary? Okay. How, how, how much do accountants earn? Mm. Did you work as an accountant though? Before? I did. For which I did. company? <laughs> uh, <laughs> which I business? I can't give them Kalango now. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, so you study, you become an accountant. How does the love of music outpower your profession? Uh, I think with uh, during COVID, I was like, okay, people stopped working. We all mm. stopped working. Mm. So I was like, what's the point? We are not mm. working anyway. Mm. Why not mm. just do what we love? So if there was no so COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I think COVID <laughs> just, it's, it's stroke. Is it stroke striked? Yes. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the passion or the aggression in me. Yeah. To start music, but yes. you always wanted to do music. Yeah. Um, professionally, because you said you had the love for the music. Professionally, now how do you decide to get the money from your accounting profession, investing it in music? No gamma anti the hero is in the studio. I need to know that that Castro that broke the camel's back, the last one, is what I'm looking for. So I like it was during COVID. I was I was going to studio because that's what I did. That's what I love doing anyway, and there was nothing else to do. So I locked down and I kept going to a studio. I, I recorded some music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what happened. And then I didn't have like capital. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone who has capital when they start doing music. They've seen your counterparts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this is it. Um, they feel like for you, it has come 
selling it, and this is where I need you to be honest with me. Okay, I'm gonna say something. Yes, please. Me, if I was rich, do you know the things I would do? If I was rich, I would not be working for for like local shows. I, do, I wouldn't be working my way up there. I would, if I was rich, I would pay Davido for a collaboration, and I start earning in dollars. If I was rich, I would pay all the big artists in this country, and we go and we do collaborations and nechigua. Hmm. I'm not rich. Like I'm not rich at all. Like uh, it's it's a good thing. I'd rather be called rich than poor. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but I'm not. Has it affected you though? It does because like the media people they think I have money. And but you work with Tabalo Zogenda Bocha, you talk about the time. They, they, yeah, Chonga said it. Me, I remember you with your other Mac X. Oka Jukira Kakabur. Yes, yes. That is almost broken. Twelve syndica syndicate, but people yeah. just. <laughs> Anyway, yes. I'm not rich. I'm mm. just setting the record straight. Mm. When I when I dress nice, I look nice. I, Miss Henry, I came. You tell them the truth. I came here with my own makeup ki box, makeup kit, whatever. I don't even have a makeup artist to move with me. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Are you looking I for one though? Yeah, I'm looking for one. But I think I was waiting. Tetrina sent him a request. Na ye to know ya sent. I see you humping on a border to Nansa na. Yeah. You know that that video you did. Mm. Why? Actually, Rachel, before before yes. my first Mac, okay, my first car, which is the Mac X, mm. I was using borders. So I don't know what rich is. There's a video we put you put out that had you on a border border with with people in Nansa and it had the Nansa post. I was yeah, like, yeah. like a music owner, because it says it would have been some of the hardest thing you things that you found more industry, you know. Uh, I'll just say like, there's so much politics, mm. so much, there's so much things. Like, wa suvira. Yeah, like okay, let's say when you. When you're coming from the world of working, mm, uh, work mm. it's everything's a bit of a straight line. Yes. But the entertainment industry is full of like it's. Sorry for it's casting. It's okay. Mm. It's funny stuff behind it. It's a lot of fake people. It's a lot of users. It's it's a it's like you put in more than you get. But hopefully, I'll get back what I've been putting in mm, soon. Mm. Yeah. This this breakdown be Funny people how. Uh, I'll, I'll say users are everywhere, and me, I'm mean, a beautiful woman. I meet users everywhere, so I'm kind of. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. <laughs> You're a beautiful woman. Say that again for me, I'm please. A beautiful woman. You meet mm. users everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but with I with the music, obviously, I, I've met people, like people that that promise you, <laughs> promise you things. Like I've, I've there's someone I met. I'll not mention their name. Please don't make me mention. <laughs> They told me they are gonna do for me a whole album, blah blah blah. Like, but the, it, things like that. Eh? So, and towards the end, they still charged me money. Like, <laughs> months over years later, they still charged me money. Like, after the whole <laughs> process of of promising me. So. And if I'm be a girl, did you give colleague? <laughs> hey, baby, call the abana industry. <laughs> No, I didn't give. I didn't give, but yeah. Is that the manager that that people speculate? Did you have? A, did you ever have a manager though? No, I had managers, in and out. Oh, because there were rumors. My name, manager, was managing you, for real. Ah, uh, uh. but but yeah, there's a lot of promises, a lot of promises, but yeah, it's there. So if you're there and you think like it's a straight line, it's not. Mm. Yeah. So they promised you an album and they delivered they zero. They delivered zero and towards the end I was like, okay, but okay, is do you want money? And they were like, yes. So you had to give them money? Yeah, I'm paying them now. No shame. Kubu Zeketi in Twitch? Linya. Linya, na ye. Give me five, like three years. I'll say that name. That person is in the industry? Yeah, very much. He's a musician? Yeah. I'm trying to put A and B together. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm trying to put A and B together. No, no, no. If they are a musician, you've not been friends with very many musicians. Yeah. Just look at me with a straight face. When you blink, 
I don't uh -huh. know it's the one. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the people we've seen you close to mostly mm -hmm. was Eddie Kenzo. Yeah, Kenzo is my friend. You have blinked. N yeah, but he's my friend, but we're not close. He's not the one. He's not the one. Anya mulalali, anya mulalali, ndo kujampula mpula, anya mulalali mu industry yao, ya ndibanga. Abali mawega wa kamera muntase. Like has been very close. By the way, to wade nyo ate close with very many people. Na ibo wade close nabo, wade close nabo. So if you tell me wade mu yimbi. Nga yimba. A yimba, wade management. A yimba. What can I do for you to give me the name? So can you have wine? I'll, I'll give you the name, but now I can't. Okay, how much did it hurt you? It, it hurt me, but I had to be like, I had to soldier up. I had to just pretend mm. like it didn't hurt me. Oh, yeah. But it hurt me. How the other people re re receive you in the industry? I know it's, it's a tight sport, but how did other people, fellow musicians, the DJs, the presenters, how hard was it or is it for uh, you to... And I'll say it's 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 on and off. Like with the industry, you never know how they feel. Like every day, they I one day they have an ex uh, excitement, another day they don't care. Mm. I think when you're trending, they also they 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 they, they tag they, on you. They eh? tag on you. You don't know if it's real love. Mm. Then when you're not, then when I joined the industry in the beginning, people are just excited to see who is this new face. So for me, it's been a, a bit of confusion. I'm gonna be honest. Yes, like, yes. But yes. For, for me, my main focus is people noticing my talent. So I don't know, Mumbu, you said, do you love my talent, over? I personally, the music is good, extremely good, and I feel like it's gonna get better. Um, no way, my business single jitan. So again, that koko birao, yeah. You have to be patient with yourself and with the system, but also choosing the right team is ext extremely important. And that leads me to my next question. Do you have a management you're dealing with right now? I have a team. It's not a management? Yeah. So, gwe yete kamo sente gwe nga gwe? Yeah. How is it that, how is that going? Tokora, gwe yete kamo sente. Music is an expensive business like her. Yeah. Videos okola ziba za kabi. Audio Zibazakabi, how are you balancing up those things? I, I balance it. <laughs> I balance it. Okay, I'll say um I, I do I do the, the regular stuff and I've been getting some bookings, but besides that, like I've like this year I've put out two projects. It's been ten months. Mm. Two projects really like I know. People can people can appreciate your bu your beauty and decide to invest in you. <laughs> So there are people out there that just but appreciated you. My beauty. And yes. just saying, what the video you are waiting. Yes. And what the audio you are waiting. Yeah. And project there's nothing Sibiri. wrong with that. Project Sibiri with all this beauty. Chiba chicha abula munyo. When you mean I'm project singata. No. <laughs> no. Na na uh, those people who say that I have money, you're spoiling for I me. I know, I know. To gain that bag of money, to live out. Okay, to live out. You know, to win a cent. I'm just get. They told me that you went go for cheer. You beat some cheer abroad. I did. <laughs> and then I came back like right before COVID. That's was so can be the accountant, then no get a no kube che. What you could be I was in America. Mukwano, Mukwano, Gamba Wallahi. Which state in America? I was in DC. Kadiche I could jia one in Uganda. No gain the America che. <laughs> for me, I am mm. always looking for greener pastures. So I don't see myself being there comfortable working like morning to evening, year to year. <laughs> in America? Anywhere. Like Anywhere. I can't be there yeah. like going to work, coming, going, working my, the whole day, yeah. coming back home January to December. Do you know how many people <laughs> are dying to have a visa to go to America? You, you go to America and even come back like... What do you want to do with your visa? Just know I want to do with your visa. Just now I worked, but um, it wasn't nice. For me to come back, it wasn't nice. You went with a man. No, I didn't go with a man. I didn't go with a man. I went alone, but it was tough. Take me through the situation. Anyone who knows this, they know it was mm. like it was, it's, it's a tough place to live in. It's, nothing is smooth. No one, no one gives you anything for free. Yes. You go there and you find your relatives, and your relatives 
they look at you like you're not a relative. Like you're a burden. Yeah, you're a burden. <laughs> like to a point where, I don't know if I should say this, Please but do. it was like even a, a meal, like a normal m a meal, like how you cook food for lunch, mm. like it was exciting. Oh, could you body? Because sometimes you'd be so broke and you just snack. So. That's okay, you're beautiful and you're just snacking, not eating. Yeah. Oh my God. But you had found a job? Yeah, but like, you know, when you don't have papers, real papers, you're there, you just, you're, look, you're, you're trying, but mm. it's not easy. So, like, you know how people be saying, hey, I'll go, things will work out, things mm, will work mm, out, but mm. things didn't don't work out easily. It's mm. very, very, very hard. And people can tell you that. It's very hard. But when I, ke when I, when I reached there, I tried, I tried, but it was tough. And then, <laughs> yeah, ne I came back. I'm sorry to say this, but it, your story looks like you know, for a girl to say, I'm leaving the country and going to America, was there a man and you reached there and the man changed himself on you over? I just went there myself. Like, I went there as a visitor. <laughs> you have family there, maybe. I'm trying to I put had, I had together. family, but it wasn't real family. They were like mm. young people like me, were all oh, hustling. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But what I know is that I think, okay, you know what? Me, I don't, I don't regret anything. Mm. And I think that hustle there, it gave me the hustle that I have right now. Mm. That's how I can manage even this. You said how long did you do? Some good years. Some good, some years. How many? I'm not so young, but... <laughs> how many are we talking about? How many years? Like three. In America? Mm. No, come away, Uganda. Mm. Ah! Wow. Let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about that America story deeply, extremely, and of course the new music that she has, and the rumors of her. And you know, there's a video of you and Harmonize. Leave alone this one where you're just dancing. There's another one that you have not seen that for us we have after the break. It's the deep talk. The Deep Talk with Mr. Henry.